Archer, is everything ready? The Shiremoot will soon begin. Will you join us, Eivor? We'd be comforted by your presence. Yes, I'm curious to see this Shiremoot for myself. I will follow. When will the vote begin, Abbas? Twelve able lords of Lincolnshire have already cast their stones, but they have reached a tie. Four votes for each man. It now falls to you to break this impasse. Me? By whose order? You have earned the trust of our three candidates, it seems. Even our bishop has found a certain fondness for your hardy spirit. It's an important vote for your people. How would you counsel my vote? I value competent and righteous leadership, not foolish friends in high seats. Anyone but Hunwald, you mean? I love Hunwald, as I love my own kin. But I would not put a stone in his care without fearing for the safety of both. I pray that God guides your vote today, and not the devil, as I fear. How are you, Lord? Have I heard aright that you have come to break us from our deadlock? I have, Lord. Have you any advice before I vote? Lord Hundbeor was a bold and honest man, if somewhat reckless. I see the same qualities in his son. Therefore, Hunwald is my man. King Cheowulf's attendant, aren't you? Aye. The king sends his love and support. Whatever happens here today shall have his full blessing. He's learning fast. Good man. Grim, good to see you again. A hearty hello, Drenger. Seems Britain is getting quite used to the idea of Danes stalking her shores. Where do you fall in this contest, Grim? Alfgar is a friend of yours, is he not? He is, and a good man as well. But I cast my stone for the bishop. The bishop? That's an odd strategy. These Christians are easy to nudge about. So desperate they are to avoid a good fight, they'll agree to most anything a Dane says. <laughs> Good evening, Alvgar. Eivor, I hope it's not untoward of me to solicit your support, but I do need it. The vote is closer than a cat's whisker. It is a difficult choice, Alvgar. Know that I won't make it lightly. Good, good. But let me say, unreservedly, that I am the man who will lead Lincolnshire into progress and victory. I do not doubt your convictions, Lord. A vote for Hunwald will return the House of the Ferocious Swan to its former glory. Bishop. Eivor, I must thank you for your fearless participation in our moot. I'm surprised to hear you vouched for me, Bishop. I surprised myself, to be honest. But I felt it would be a good test of God's faith in my judgment. Under my guidance, this Shire is crawling back from a decade of lawlessness. God knows the love that lives in my heart for the people of Lincolnshire. I pray now that he guides your hand accordingly. Quite a gambit, Bishop. Mad enough to work, it may be. Well then, I thank you for what it's worth. God go with you. How fear you, Lord? My prayers are fervent and my will is strong, Eivor. If I am Elderman, I will bring joy to this Shire. There is more to good leadership than merrymaking. You must be strong and stern and willing to take risks. Of course, of course. 
strength and wisdom and fortitude and all that. I shall rise above the peat moss of mediocrity. Have no fear. That is good to hear. Free men, free possible futures. Which of these sad puppets will dance best when you call upon them? It is not for myself I must cast the stone, but for my clan. Who will serve us best in a time of true need? You can never be certain where you stand in another's heart. Choose only for yourself. All three have strengths and weaknesses. Though tinged with arrogance, Alvgard is competent and wealthy. He'd be a good elderman, but a faithful ally? Hunwald is not the most cunning or clever, but yes, both go a long way in times of need. The bishop can be stuffy and wallows in Christian piety, but he is wisest of the free and has already proven himself. Though tinged with arrogance, Alvgard is competent and wealthy. He'd be a good elderman, but a faithful ally? Hunwald is not the most cunning or clever, but he has heart and spirit. Both go a long way in times of need. Lead your shire with pride, ferocious swan. It is decreed by this lawful shire moot that the Elderman of Lincolnshire shall be son of our dear and departed Lord Hundbjorg, Lord Hunwald of Lincolnshire. I... I don't know what to say. I thank you deeply, madly, humbly. What more can I say? I... I don't know. I miss my father. I'd sooner see him standing here than... Well, I will do my best for each and every one of you. Let us all raise our cups. A toast to our new elderman. <laughs> As all well know, this Shiremoot's decision is not final, but advisory. It now falls to our newly anointed King Cheowulf to ratify our choice. To this end, we need not worry. Cheowulf is a friend to Saxon and Dane alike, and he is sure to approve the results. Our good and noble friend, Arvelswith. The septic rot has overtaken this shire. A sickness for which there is only one cure. Your Grace! What is this? Nobles of Lingardshire, stand fast! For the glory of the ancients, leave none alive! Help! What? Help! What?
is how their god welcomes a new elder member. This one's gone. Find those who still draw breath. Polish your ass, Hunwald. The Elderman's seat is yours. As your war council, I suggest you waste no time in catching this grief tosser. He won't be far. We should first bury our dead, no? That choice is yours to make, Elderman. Yes. Yes, of course. We'll bury our dead, then raise a feared. I am at a loss for words. A trusted man of the cloth. <coughs> I will pray for these martyrs, and tend to the remaining wounded, until the last man walks free. Be well, Archer. And you, Eivor. May God, or... or the gods, protect you. Vel fortibis auida amores necne, hecres tristes, e non cupidum eorum. Cum magna voce latrari canes belli cubile exarsit, sic faciam wimpor felium et ambulato pivium.
My eyes. You should always be fully stoned. Thank you. I always need more of these. You like that? It could be yours. You look so strong and powerful. Until next we meet. I'm off. Be well, friend. Hello there. I have to go. See you soon. in broad daylight. The hatred that eats at that man must be ravenous. What news, Hunwald? We've learned that Herivrith rode for the fort at Anicastri following the massacre. I have assembled a fiat there. Quite a large one, in fact. They eagerly await your orders, Eivor. You mean your orders, Elderman? 
Ah, yes, that's right. My orders. Which are... Which are what, exactly? Who can say? Ride with me to your camp and we'll find out together. Perivrith was a friend of my father's and always so dear to me. I don't understand what possessed him. He invoked the name of an ancient order before his men attacked. I know exactly what possessed him. Do you? It's not a story for now. This will send waves of disgust through all the parishes of Mercia. Perifrith is a new and ugly stain on the bishopric. Your Christ was an interesting man, if a little soft. But stranger still, I've met so few Christians like him. Today has been a boon, Eivor. In spite of everything, I now know my father's spirit still burns within me. It's thanks to you I know this. When songs are sung of the day Lincolnshire was saved, your name will ripple through every stanza. Don't be hasty, Hunwald. One verse of our song remains unsung. The din of battle beckons. You pagans and your appetite for battle. I certainly don't share it. I worry what diabolical feast the bishop has in store. Don't let that poxy bishop worry you. With Eivor beside us, he'll be victuals before long. How has Acha taken all this? She and Herivrith were so close. She must feel as though the devil himself attacked her monastery. A poor lady. We spoke briefly. We are alone. the men of Lincoln! I think she'll be fine. Here's the camp, do you see? The feared will soon be ready for action. Give them mead and let them rest. There is hard fighting ahead. Our warsmith has arrived. The Feards are ready to fight. Chief Denaval, can we win this fight with the men you see assembled here? If they fight with the bravery of double their number, we may. And is there room in your Valhalla for a ferocious swan? Of course. Let fly your glorious banner. Are we ready, then? We attack now. Ready the Feard. Our first task will be to breach the outer wall. Then we deal with the troops inside. Who's fetching the turf fist? Mm. The best way to breach is with a battering ram. I should help it along.
Point me to the bishop. No one else need die today. He, he's, he's in the chapel there, hiding away. Scandalous coward. Let no one leave that church without facing judgment.
I died the day I hid behind these robes, this cross. To bring the light of my order to a wider view, I debased myself. Clawed my way to the top of this common religion, full of common men. I should have lived as the ancient dead. That's the folly of mankind, Herifrith. We wallow in our failures, like happy pigs in a sty of shit. You should have learned to enjoy it. started murdering under the cover of night. No man wanted that job. Christians everywhere should band together, lead a force to the heathen lands, and force them to embrace them. Eivor, is he... Is the bishop dead? He bled too little and talked too much. Now he's gone. I won't miss him. But Atcha will need some time to grieve. You fought well, ferocious swan. Notched a few scars in your baby fat today. Yes, but they will heal. And stronger than before. Lincolnshire is yours to lead, Elderman. The hardest fight begins now. The din of battle still rings in my ears. I think I now know what it means to be a leader. Good. 
I would ask a favor, if I could. Name it. As Elderman, my life may be a dangerous one. For a time, anyway. Would you allow my Swanborough to take refuge in your settlement? At least until I feel all danger has passed. We'd be happy to have her. Thank you, my sturdy Norse berserker. The mead halls of my shire will be lonely without you stomping about. Our people are bonded now. We must look out for one another. Blast it! I am a horror with goodbyes. It'll do for now. Now it seems the wind calls me back to Ranvi. Best tell her the good news. Stretch your wings, Sunan.
Solar The first man I killed for my order, I cried and wept after trying to hold back the tears. But I told myself, I am merely acting upon a foretold destiny, navigating the whim of greater gods. My actions are simply pebbles. Pebbles that wash away in the surf, as harmless as dust. Pebbles were once bedrock. As were you.
of my sight. Well now. This is a mere moment. No one will remember it. No one. Not your name, nor mine. It all ends up the same. Regret torments you. My only regret is losing to whatever you are. You reek of fading glory.
What do you see, Sunan? You won. I can see defeat. When Scops mention me, they will sing of my conquests. Cowards do not get sagas. I am no coward. In a long lost battle for Wessex, I was the victor. The Scot could speak of that time. Focus on my lost honor. No. I'll leave your reputation as it is, here in the blood-blackened mud. <laughs>